Saturday afternoon, deep in the heart of Texas. And this is what it's all about. We've got the Red Raiders, and we've got Horn Frogs. Football in Fort Worth. It is Texas Tech taking on TCU. Just get the playoff, apparently. Columbia brought down at the two-yard line. Oh, Sean Mathis. You talked about him just a moment ago. Ben Lieber, Devin Barlow next to him in the backfield. Low snap. Duggan wants a bunch on first down. To the end zone. It is intercepted. How about that? Intercepted in the end zone. It's Zach McPherson with the pick. Columbia again wrapped up and brought down. That is the third sack of the first quarter for TCU. Columbia crushed. It's that man again. Oh, Sean Mathis, his third sack of the first half. Boy, he is just wearing these guys out. Here's going to be on the outside again. It's just a straight speed rush. He just flashes those hands, and that's it. These, it's not special. It's flash those hands, get those hands off of you, and then it's his speed and tenacity to get after Columbia. So the ball is inside the five and three. Another designed quarterback keeper and Duggan. Game's first touchdown. Fourth touchdown of the year. Max Duggan makes it a 9-0 lead for TCU. Second down and one. And enough for the first down and then some. Look at Barlow go. Scoots out across the 40 to the 43. His best run of the day. Keeper, quarterback has it. Duggan, first down, inside the 10, all the way down to the 8-yard line. Forced out of bounds by McPherson. Last eight times in the red zone, a touchdown each time. And around, easy score. Touchdown, Fort Frogs. Quinton Johnston, untouched. Packs a wallop. Deep ball. Caught. Defender falls down. Jalen Paul. Touchdown. Texas Tech. Like a lightning bolt. 60 yards. Touchdown finally for the Red Raiders. Go. And they keep it on the ground. The quarterback has it. What a shake. Duggan. What kind of speed you got? He's got it off. Wonderful play fake. Duggan keeps it and shows some speed scampering to the end zone. What a tremendous play fake. Watch how everything just opens up over here. This is the wide ru running lane. And just look how big that is. And you talk about Whoop. speed. That's the juke move he puts on Leggett. And he has 4-3 speed. So that, that's a quarterback that can not only throw the football down the field, Columbia just got it off. Deep pass. It is caught. It's going to be a touchdown. Ezukama. Another deep strike for Texas Tech. That touchdown gives them a chance. And it was so close to a sack as well. You're going to watch Ezukama just win. We talked about his vertical speed and his ability to get down the field and create that separation. Watch the pressure. It's so close. Oh, my goodness. It was so close to being O'Shawn Mathis' fourth sack on the day. You run the risk of passing the football and having an incompletion to stop the clock. Uh-oh. Duggan. A lot of green grass in front of him. Look at that speed. Duggan with a chance. Touchdown. There's the capper for TC. That's not your ordinary quarterback. Wonderful wheels, Max Duggan. 81 yards to Pater. Duggan now over 150 yards and three touchdowns in the ballgame. 
Well, again, we, we talked to Jerry Kill, and he's like, our offensive linemen, look, they're not the most aggressive guys. We work on fundamentals. We work on technique. And if we can just sustain blocks, that's all we have to do. We have the playmakers to make plays. And that's what happened on that play. All linemen were all bodied up against somebody else. They sustained and maintained the blocks just long enough to have their super speedy and special quarterback take it down the field to seal this ball game. Tech with one timeout remaining. Timeout on their side. Again. Going deep to Ezru Kamo, who seemed to slow down. Pass is picked off. Trayvon Merrick has the interception. And that will do it. 34-18, the final score. TCO with a win. And now let's send you to Mike Hill for more postgame coverage.